Greetings folks, in this video I'll be having a look at the H743 Wing V3 flight control board. Being an H7 chip, it has quite a few advantages over the uh, F4 chips that we're used to using with the Speedy Bs and the F405 Wing and things like that. And you can see listed on the label here, it has one CAN, 7 UARTs and 13 PWM. Now the CAN input is interesting, That uh, you don't find that on many other boards and it's not even supported by iNav at the moment, uh, it is supported by Argipilot and it's basically just another way to plug peripherals into the board, uh, similar to I2C in that it's a bus so you can daisy chain components one onto the other, uh, unlike UARTs which is just one UART per component. You can get CAN capable GPS and uh, airspeed sensors I think, although they're not all that common but anyway it's available on this board so here's the board it's a, a normal size board uh, with 30.5 millimeter hole spacing there there's the can input that one there has the usual usb board with buzzer and boot button we also get the normal colored pin headers also comes with some connection cables jst style which will plug into all of these little ports here and a capacitor as well to solder over the ESC pads if your ESCs are giving you problems. Now if you look closer there is S1 there which uh, you would normally use for a motor and it does have the VX pin in the middle. Um, I would tend to not solder in that VX pin because we don't usually use it. Twin motors you would use S2 as the second motor but of course you can change them around to be uh, whatever you want, every PWM output can be changed with timers. Then S3 to S10 along here, S11, 12 and the LED down this section here. It does have two camera switching, there's a VW, uh, SW pin there which can be switched using the user 1 mode in INAV and 9 volts for the camera 1 and video transmitter. Uh, you can bump that up to 12 volts as well. UART 1 here and UART 2 here, UART 3 down here, UART 4 here, and 4 and 6 actually. So UART 6 and 2 are powered from the USB port as well as the flight battery. So you would probably connect your uh, receiver to UART 6 and GPS to UART 2 because that has the I2C connections for compass right next to it and uh, HDFBV would probably go to UART 7 I think and it's a little bit different to F4 boards in that all of these UARTs have an inverter as well so it doesn't matter which one you connect your S bus to uh, you don't have to have a dedicated S bus pin which would normally be on UART 2 so uh, it's one of the more confusing things I find not having a dedicated S bus pin um, you have to remember which UART you've set up as your receiver Input voltage 8 to 36, uh, 2 to 8S, 2 pads for ESCs, analog airspeed sensor there, and SD card easily accessible on the side there. It has uh, alternate, it has two IMUs to choose from. Uh, we'll have a look at that in the specs or on the website in a minute. So let's have a look at what's under the lid. Unscrew the four little screws. Oh, so there's nothing on the top deck that's just protection so we have some solder pads here for VSW uh, we can bump the voltage to 5 volts or 9 volts there by bridging solder pads uh, we can change the 9 volts up to 12 volts here by bridging those solder pads there's an RSSI pad there and a buzzer pad there and on the bottom board we have 3.3 volts there uh, and we can bump the servo voltage, the VX voltage, uh, from 5 volts up to 6 volts by bridging those ones or up to 7.2 volts by bridging those ones there. Now here's the tricky soldering that we have to do. We have to connect the middle and bottom boards, VX to VX there, ground to ground, VBAT to VBAT, current to current. Um, instead of having the, the nice sort of inter-board connectors like on other boards this one is uh, do-it-yourself wiring soldering so it's just something you have to do it comes preloaded with INAV7 so we need to use the INAV7.1.2 configurator there's the port showing up there on my Mac 
and here we are here if I was connecting it for the first time actually let's do that shall we so if I was connecting it for the first time this is what would show up and you would choose whatever you want uh, airplane with tail that will load some presets I have already bumped up mine to 7.1.2 I haven't uh, changed everything over to uh, INAV 8 yet and INAV 9 is coming soon so I'll wait for that uh, you would do your calibrations mixer and if we look at ports it has preset uh, the receiver to be on UART 6 just as I thought so I was going to put the GPS on UART 2 because the compass connections are right beside that if you need a compass now I have most of my settings saved in a text file so I'll copy all of them all the ones that can be trans transferred from board to board And I also have a calibration saved as well, so we might as well pick that up. So if you go, if you take a diff after you've done your calibration, then look for these ACC calibration, the, the zero and the gain. Those ones there, that block of text there is the calibration of the board. I'll pop that in as well, so we don't have to redo the calibration. Uh, you can't can't transfer that from board to board. It's only sort of one particular board you can save that and reapply it save settings and now my calibration will be already done that's good modes should be already set up as well they're all set up that's good and my OSD will be set up as well that's good using avatar yep that's laid out the way I like it actually I might put the home arrow over here um, so that uh, now it's ready to solder up put on a plane check out the direction of throws of the control surfaces and uh, Take it out for a fly. So I've, ma I've mounted the H743 On my mini Talon which I've converted into a twin So I'm trialing all of this stuff at the same time, which is probably not a good idea I have the Avatar GT kit on um, this plane so I'm using the VSW switch to depower it while I'm waiting for satellites I do have enough satellites now so I can turn on the video transmitter video transmitter is now powered up and we're ready to go I'm going to do a line of sight flight first and we'll get some recording going in the goggles when we're happy with the performance Needs a decent hard launch, probably needs some needs to get a bit of trim going. At least we're flying. Get crews going and uh, we'll have a look in the goggles. Yeah, going well. Six amps, that's pretty good, that's no dramas. Cruising around. Need a bit of trim to start off with, I think. Probably didn't have enough elevator just for the first few launches, but uh, now we're going well. So the board's great. Uh, has lots of spare UARTs. Every one of them has an uh, inverter so you can plug in S bus wherever you want. I can switch the video power on and off using that VSW or the user one mode in INAV which operates the VSW power on and off. I have that set to 12 volts by bridging the little solder pads. There's a light plane way above me, but I'll stay away from that. I'm only down at 30 meters, so if he's down at 30 meters, he's in trouble. But we are going very nicely indeed.
So the Mini Talon, the tw Mini Talon Twin is going well now. I did have a few problems with it. First of all, they had the board orientation around the wrong way, so of course I crashed it and crunched up the nose of my Mini, mini Talon. Uh, but it's all fixed now. I remembered that I had the board facing the tail rather than um, facing the nose, and I forgot to re-tell the board that that's what I'd done in INAV, but all good, we live and learn. Going beautifully now. Yes, yeah, alright, so if you need a, a really highly capable board with lots of inputs, lots of power capability, camera switching, video power switching, then uh, the and uh, and an H7 chip, which means it's uh, capable of uh, any future high power demand or high processing demand applications. Uh, all the space for Arja Pilot or INAV, no dramas at all. I really like the video power switching. This is the GT kit. It does have a, a fan on it, so it doesn't need it as much as other things, but um, rather than having a video transmitter overheat while you're waiting for satellites, you can switch the power off from your transmitter, which is very nice. Twin flies beautifully. It's so much quieter than the old Talon used to be. Really smooth and balanced. Why it's meant to be, I think. Excellent. So there you go, the H743 wing version 3 flight control board on the Mini Talon Twin. That is a great combination, especially with the um, Avatar GT kit as well. This is a serious long range FPV setup. Very nice indeed. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.